Well, Doug, there's no question for so many in our city tonight. This verdict is a major victory, but for those closest to the Breonna Taylor case, it's not quite so. They told us today that they aren't going to consider this a victory for Louisville and see, until they see justice in Taylor's case. But guess what, though? We still have a lot of work to do. For those celebrating in Jefferson Square Park, news of a guilty verdict was a win. But protesters say it's also a reminder of what they believe they haven't seen here in Louisville. Breonna Taylor hasn't got justice. Now we still want justice for Breonna Taylor. Kenneth Walker, Breonna Taylor's boyfriend, was in Minneapolis to hear the verdict, standing behind attorney Ben Crump. America, a more just America, where Breonna Taylor gets an opportunity to sleep in peace at night without the police busting in her front door. Family attorney Lanita Baker tells us Taylor's mom called the Floyd family and they cried happy tears together. She wants nothing more to be able to feel that same victory that they got today. She says for the Taylor family, the verdict is bittersweet. We still have so much work to be done. We are still pushing for justice for Breonna Taylor, uh, but we will accept this victory today for justice for George Floyd. Looking at the big picture, Baker says she's hopeful what came out of the Minneapolis courtroom will bring systemic change. We need prosecutors who are brave enough to seek charges against police officers if we're really going to get true change across the country. Back here at home, she says it's too soon to call the verdict a victory for everyone. Only time will tell if the city of Louisville is serious about change. I don't think that our leaders can be comfortable in that since we have the conviction in Minnesota that the protesters here are just going to be happy with that. In order for us to truly be happy, we need to see change within our own city. So where does the Brianna Taylor case stand right now? Let's take a look. The one officer from LMPD charged in connection to the night that she was killed is Brett Hakeson, and he's expected back in court next week. Also, the three officers who were fired for their actions the night that Brianna Taylor was killed have all three appealed those decisions. They're awaiting hearings from the Merit Board. And finally, the FBI investigation, which is looking into all aspects of the night she died, is still underway. For the night team, I'm Shay McAllister.